Hey everyone, it's Tiffany here. So today I am nine weeks pregnant. Uh, exactly, it's Tuesday. You know, you guys know my weeks start over on Tuesdays. Um, so I have my little list here. I'm gonna go through everything that I've been experiencing this week. Experiencing this week, um, I've still been um, nauseated. I still have not. Um, I haven't actually thrown up, but the nausea. What is it? Nausea. Nausea has been insane. Um, it's just really annoying. Like it's mainly at night. But it does happen in the morning sometimes, but mainly it's in the afternoon. A lot of times in the middle of the day, I just feel like really like sick, like I just want to bark, but I just, you know, I can't I just really just feel nauseous. I don't know, it's just really annoying. But um, I don't recall being this nauseous with Jaden. I do think I did experience it like a little bit, maybe like, I don't know, just not as much as this, but I, I, I am experiencing it more with this, this pregnancy, um, yeah, which is... You know, I know every pregnancy is different, but anywho, um, the prenatal pills that I'm taking are these. These, these are just um, a the store brand Rite Aid brand. They're just regular prenatal pills until um, you know I go to my uh, prenatal appointment and you know she gives me whatever prenatal pills that she wants me to take. But really, they're um, pretty much all the same. You know, maybe some might have more iron. I remember with Jaden, they gave me some um, prenatal pills with more iron in them. I don't have those anymore. But um, yeah, we'll just see. We'll see when I go to my first doctor's appointment, which is November 6th, which is in, today's the 20th, it's just in like two weeks, which is crazy. In two weeks, I'll be 11, 11 weeks, yeah. And then a week after that, I'll be in my second trimester, which is really crazy. I don't know why I did three. Second trimester, which is really crazy. Uh, what else? Um, cravings. I have I haven't really been craving like, you know, salty foods or just or just sweet foods or fruits like like watermelon. When I was pregnant with Jaden, I'd like legit crave watermelon. Um, so I haven't really had any like strong cravings for either one of those yet. Um, but the other week I was craving the Sabaros pizza and spaghetti, which is. Jaden's coming, which is, I don't know, just weird. I just really, really wanted some Sbarro pizza, some Sbarro pizza. I think I'm saying that's how you say it, Sbarro um, pizza and some spaghetti. But I didn't, I didn't get to have either one of them. <laughs> I've just been eating really healthy. Um, that's another thing. I have been eating, um, you know, super healthy. Um, Jaden, don't touch the camera. Come here. <laughs> Look. Mm. Tell everybody hi. Tell everybody hi. Um, I've been drinking like a gallon of water a day, and I only drink water and milk. I don't, I don't, I don't drink any juices. Not because I don't want to, I guess. I mean, I just don't drink juice. I just, I don't. Know, I just drink water and milk. Um, a lot of times with my milk, I drink. Um, I have the the chocolate stirring mix or whatever. Um, I don't know. I, drink, I like to drink chocolate milk and water. <laughs> um, and then like what I eat, I, I eat yogurt, salad, um, chicken. Um, what else? Sometimes, you know, peanut butter crackers if I feel sick or saltine crackers. Um, cereal, oatmeal, you know, just healthy stuff. I haven't had, like, a lot of fattening foods. I haven't had any fattening foods, really. Um, and what else? Oh, and my green smoothies that I, um, have been wanting to have every day, but I've kind of been slacking. I wanted to have, a, you know, taken a bunch of fruits in my smoothies along with some fish, but I haven't, I haven't done it every day, but, um, yeah, I do do it, like, at least a couple times a week. Another thing, the other day I was kind of, like, I wasn't really craving, but, like, I had an obsession for, like, pop cereal. I don't know why. I just, like, really wanted pop cereal for a couple days. I don't know. It was really weird. It was really weird. Um, but, yeah, that was just a, I don't know, random craving, obsession, whatever. I don't know. And then one, one night I woke up at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I was so hungry. I don't know. I, don't know, I was just really hungry, so I ate some peanut butter crackers and some chocolate milk. Um, yeah, that was. I know. I remember um, waking up hungry with Jaden, but I didn't really eat. And um, I do remember waking up at the exact same time every every night. And lately, I have been waking up at around three. Well, actually, it's been between three and six o'clock. Uh, I just wake up, go to the bathroom, check on Jaden, and then go back to sleep. It's just. I don't know, really weird. And when I wake up, it's weird. Like, I know what time it is. Like, I don't even have to look at the clock. I just know, I just know what time it is. Um, oh, another thing. I found the baby's heartbeat uh, the day after I filmed my eight-week update video. It, it was crazy. Like, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think that I would hear it that day. I just, 
because a lot of times I could I could put the Doppler um you know on my stomach and I could hear like movement and I know it's the baby because I haven't eaten anything and I know it's not like I'm not digesting any, anything or so I I know that it's a baby because I can just I can just tell so I went to put it on there and I picked up the heartbeat like right away. And I was so shocked. I was like, oh my gosh. And I was, I was here by myself. So I recorded it and I um, sent it to TJ. And he's like, oh, you found it. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty cool. So since then, I listen to it every day, at least once a day. Sometimes, sometimes I try to do it like, you know, more than once a day. But sometimes I can't find it. But I, I always hear it at least once a day. Um, and every time I do it, um, the heart beats around 165, 175. Which is way faster than what Jaden's was. Because I remember Jaden's was like... 150, 140, 150. So I don't know, that was, it's different from Jaden. Uh, what else? Um, I haven't gained any weight yet. I'm still 122 pounds. Um, since I was six weeks, I've been 122 pounds. And like I said, I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm still eating. Um, I still work out. Uh, I do, you know, cardio. I lift a little bit, not heavy. Um, but. Yeah, I haven't, I'm still 122 pounds. I still don't feel pregnant. I don't feel bloated. I am more gassy a little bit. Um, like, like a lot of times my stomach, like, I don't know, just has really, like, gassy sensation. Um, but I don't feel, I, there was a couple days that I did feel a little bit bloated. But, like I said, I, if I never would have took a test, and if I never would have missed my period, I would never know that I'm pregnant. Um, my boobs actually are starting to hurt a little tiny bit. Like, kind of like on the outside. Is this TMI? I don't know. But, I mean, it's a pregnancy vlog, whatever. But <laughs> my, my boobs are starting to be a little tiny bit tender on the outside. Um, but they're still not as sore as with, with what they were with Jaden. Um, with Jaden, like I said, they would hurt to even lay on top of. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really not, they're not bad. I still don't have a gender intuition. Like, um, I, I don't, I can't tell if, if I'm going to have a girl or a boy. Like, I, maybe it could be a girl, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was a boy. Like, I just don't know. So, you know, continue, continue guessing on my, um, gender guessing game. I'll put the link in the description box. Um, also, if you haven't noticed, I straightened my hair. And I'm really excited about my hair being, you know, growing more. Because during, with Jaden, my hair grew like crazy and it was really thick and it was pretty. But I'm not excited about it shedding afterwards because my hair shed like crazy with Jaden. Like, I legit had like two bald spots on my head. I had to cover, um like just with different kind of hairstyles but I know my hair is going to grow um, super long I'm going to keep it curly I'm probably going to wash it next week and keep it curly until the baby comes um, maybe I might straighten it like one or two times but um, I plan on keeping it curly majority of the time until the baby gets here and hopefully it gets much longer right now it's to my boobs which is um, where I wanted it to grow to so I'm really happy with the length um, so yeah I guess that's it I'll show I'll go ahead and show you guys my tummy um, oh also um, Another, maybe this could be a factor that it could be a girl, because Jaden has been, like, really cuddly lately. Like, he's just, like, when I hold him, he, like, grabs him in my neck, and, like, when I'm laying down, he'll just come over and kiss me, and I don't know, he didn't really do that before. I'm kind of feeling like it could be a girl. I don't know if that's, I don't know, I maybe I just made that up, but I kind of feel like, since he's more lovey-dovey, but I don't know, we'll see. So I'll go ahead and show you guys my tummy, and that'll be it for um, my nine-week update until next week, so... Here we go. Okay, so this is my shirt with, I mean, my belly with my shirt on and disregard my pajama bottoms. But anyways, with my shirt off from the front, from the side. I still don't see a bump yet to me. And this side. And I am... Oops. Still 27 inches around. 26 and a half, 27. I don't know. I think it's 27. Sometimes I think I measure weird. But yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys for my 10-week update. Well, I'm going to be in the double digits. That's crazy. All right. See you guys later. Bye.